Stroud. Yay! This is my first time in Stroud. Yay! I'm proud to be in Stroud. I really wanted to get that in. <laughs> and I, I think I peaked too soon. I think I should have saved it for the finale. Proud to be in Stroud. Maybe I'll say it twice. Um, um, yes, uh, it's very nice to read this morning that Natalie Bennett listens to me in her spare time. Uh, it's funny because I listen to her in my spare time. So there's like music to my ears uh, to listen to people actually talking about politics that I can relate to. This is a song uh, about, I was asked to write a song a few years ago about the Spanish Civil War. I didn't know anything about it and I went away and I researched it and I found out these amazing stories about these people that went over to fight fascism voluntarily even though they weren't directly threatened by it. And word on the street is according to the BBC, this is Natalie Bennett's favourite song. So, uh, this is called They Shall Not Pass. Um, it's about what we're all trying to do, which is we're trying to build a better world for our kids and the one we inherited. And I do honestly believe that there are more of us than there are of them. We just need to find each other and unite and then I promise like we'll we'll make it okay at the end of the day. <laughs> You're not my brother nor my country man, not my sister or my friend. But your my comrade be so till the last they shall not pass. They shall not pass. I'll be voting uh, with my heart and my soul. I'll be voting for the Green Party um, because I mostly believe um, that uh, something has got to be done to change the way the current system is running because it's not working for anyone. And most of all, it's not working for young people. You know, born the brunt of so many bad decisions and so many terrible governments over the last 20 years. Uh, so I think it's time to make a change, not just for now, but more importantly for the next, the next 50 or 60 or 70 years. That's why I'm voting for the Green Party. Stand up today that we might save the gods. I was desperately trying to come up with something to write about for the Now Show, and it was actually that week that the UKIP councillor David Sylvester said that the flooding that happened down here in the southwest of England was God's revenge for same sex marriage being legalised. UKIP, the real political party in 2015. Uh, And, uh, and people start bandying around this thing, like, you've got to vote, you've got to vote, if you're, especially if you're a woman, you've got to vote because people died for your vote. And that is true, people die for your vote, but people died for your vote to mean something. They didn't, vote, they didn't die so that you could, like, feebly choose what you regard as the lesser of two evils. And how evil does the lesser of two evils have to get before you deserve it anyway? The smart money's not on Osborne. Not from where I judge it. Still he says there's no plan B. No, we don't need a plan B. No, there is no B in budget. And austerity's working wonders. There were 50,000 students and they went and marched on London and it was overwhelmingly peaceful. There was a tiny amount of property damage that happened proportionately to those 50,000 people that went and marched in a very organised, very peaceful way. And that tiny amount of property damage is the only thing that got reported in the papers. It's the only thing that David Cameron and Theresa May would talk about. And that's because they wanted those students to not be heard. The way I vote, I always lose. And there's no fixing, no minorities. Hopes you won't stand on one abandoned. government brought in, I think one of the worst things they brought in is the workfare scheme, uh, whereby if you're a job seeker now, if you're on job seeker's allowance, uh, they can legally just make you go and work for free. Uh, and uh, and if you don't turn up to do it, then you don't get your like 40 quid a week benefits, um, which is, I think that's absolutely appalling, right? And it's, I think it's really important to keep reminding yourself that things don't have to be the way they are. Like my parents work for the public sector their entire careers. And like my dad, when I was talking to my dad about what he did after university, it was a probation officer, my dad. 
And I said, oh, you know, uh, how much did it cost you to train to be a probation officer? And he looked at me like I was mad. And he said, well, they paid me while I was training because I was working on the job. And there used to be this idea where you would invest in young people so you would have good public services. I know it's a novel concept, but it's actually really not that long ago. And across the benches, Mr. Miller Band, standing up for all those working folk. Except for when the working folk want wages That's when we finally get the joke Then he put the slave right back into labour And the blue back into red Business first, people last Ideology is past And there's no opposition from Ed but for me, like, Labour lost me over the, over the workfare thing because that was, as I said, that was the Tories enforcing unpaid labour on pri primarily young people and primarily very poor people and very vulnerable people. Um, and, like, Labour absolutely supported that. Like, in a way that it wasn't just, like, political point scoring, like, it, as in they totally helped them enforce that and they didn't have to do that. When they came for the unemployed, I did not speak out. When they came for the immigrants, I did not speak out. When they came for the travellers, I did not speak out. And when they came for the gays, I wished I had. When they criticised the teenagers, I did not speak out. When they we have the candidate here. Good. Yay. And uh, yeah, no, vote green on the seventh. And like, in some ways, more importantly, keep your chin up on the eighth. Do you know what I mean? It is a long game. And I think it's like a bad dream when I see that guy with the poison words and the purple tie on the news every night. It's like a bad dream. No one my age can find no work for a living wage, but still the price rises. 